Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. Another opportunity where we could come in prayer, in the word, and meditation, seeking God who seeks to help us in our time of need. And in this time of prayer and fasting in this season, I thank God for this opportunity where I can encourage you and even encourage myself to persevere, to press and to push. Indeed, God hears and he answers our prayer. More importantly, when we are dedicated and committed, God responds in ways that are supernatural and we give God thanks. And through Jesus Christ, God has given us spiritual authority in salvation to overcome everything the enemy brings our way. And we find Mark chapter 6 verse 7, And he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth two by two, and give them power over unclean spirit. But we must seek God for understanding of this authority and power. How to use the power. When to use the power. And this must be sought with diligence and fervency. This will require dedicating times and seasons before God as believers. You may ask, what should we be doing during these times and seasons before God to understand the authority He has given to us? I put before you, we should spend time in fasting and prayer before God with diligent fervor. Prayer and fasting are components of worshiping the Lord and seeking Him in faith. When we worship God, He first responds in us, causing us to break up the follow grounds of our heart. Indeed, putting our flesh in subjection to the Spirit. Then that power manifests through us in the service of the King. And we see this playing out in the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 17 through 29. We see a man brought his son to the disciples that they could cast out demons out of this boy. And the disciples could not do it. Even though they were given authority already to do it. And Jesus saw the situation. And when the people come running, he responded. And we find in verse 25, when Jesus saw the crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter again. Jesus was able to perform miracles, power manifested through him and cast out the demon. But his disciples came privately and said, Master, why couldn't we do this? Remember, they were given authority already, but they needed more time in prayer, fasting. And Jesus said to them, This kind comes forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting the word of God to the people of God. Like you and I, we need to spend time understanding this authority and power that we receive in salvation. And while we're spending this time, we should be in fasting and prayer. And God will reveal. He will first deal with us inside. And through that, we can manifest outwardly this power that God has given to us. Let's fast. Let's pray. Let's believe God. Not by might, nor by power, but by His Spirit, 
said the Lord of hosts. Father, we thank you and praise you for revelation, for understanding, that we may be built up in the most holy faith to do your will. We bless you for the season. We commend ourselves to you. And we thank you even in the midst of the challenges that we will adjust according to your Holy Spirit helping us. And we honor you. Believers everywhere, we give you thanks and we give you praise in this season. We commend those who lead the nations this morning, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament, their families. We pray the blessings of God. Those who lead in government, indeed in society, we command. In the body of Christ, we pray that we will do that which is right and righteous in this season, honoring you. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere. Let your name be exalted, praise and honored even now. This we ask in the name that is above every name, the name of Christ, the King. We praise you. Amen. God bless you and keep you even today as we seek God in fasting and prayer, understanding the authority that he's given to us through his word. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. 